I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will connect input output tables with the pattern rule and graph. The question here is create input output table for the following pattern rule. Graph the pattern with first five terms. Pattern rule. So that is given to you and the pattern rule here is let me underline this. Multiply each term in the input by 2 then subtract one so that is the pattern rule for you so let's begin by creating input output table so let us say uh, let's make two columns one for input the other one for output so let us say this column on the left normally the column in the left will be input and on the right it will be output pattern rule is Multiply each term in the input by 2, then subtract 1. So what we have to do here, as per the rule, we need to multiply each term by 2, right? So let us say if input term is n, any number, then multiply n by 2. So multiply that number by 2 and then subtract 1, then take away 1. That is the output. Let us write down different inputs. We need first five terms. First five terms means that the input will be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So these are my first five terms. So if I multiply 1 by 2, so let me do 1 times 2 minus 1. 1 times 2 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1. So we get 1 here. Now 2 times 2, so we get 2 times 2 minus 1. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 minus 1 is 3. 3, 3 is the input, then input times 2 minus 1. 6 minus 1 is 5. 4 is the input, 4 times 2 minus 1. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 minus 1 is 7. 5 is the input now, 5 times 2 minus 1, 5 times 2 is 10, 10 minus 1 is 9. So these are our outputs. So we have done the input output table from this pattern rule. So that is the first part which we have just completed, right? So let's check that. So create input output table from the following pattern rule. So pattern rule was multiply each term in the input by 2 so that is what we did 1 2 3 4 5 were the first 5 terms multiplied by 2 then subtract 1 then subtract 1 correct now the second part is graph the pattern with first 5 terms now let us say when we want to graph I have a graph paper here for you so normally we'll take input along the x-axis. So we'll write input here, right? We say input. And the output, let's say output, will be along the y-axis. We also say this is independent and that is dependent on the value of input, right? So let's begin. If input is 1, output is 1. So we have to find a point where input is 1 that means for input as 1 output is 1 so output we have to go up so we get this point right for the second one input is 2 that means here and output is 3 so 1 2 3 so that is the second point third point is input is 3 output is 5 so for 3 output is 5 so that is the point 4 is the input 7 is the output 4 is the input 7 is the output. So basically, if I go from 4 and connect with 7 as the output, we come to this corner, right? So that is the point we are interested in. Now we have 5 as the input, 9 as the output. So for 5, 9. So this is 8, so 9 must be somewhere here. So I'm just plotting this point. So these set of points are the points on our graph, and this is called a scatter graph. So we have a scatter graph for input versus output. So we have input versus output. And when you have points like this, we call it a scatter graph. Okay. Now, 
So what you see here is that all these points fall in a straight line. Remember, we should not be connecting with the straight line. They are points on your graph, correct? And these points are called, or this graph is called scatter plot. Right? So that is how you have to link the pattern rule with input output table and the graph. I hope the concept is clear to you. And what you will observe is set of points on the graph which should not be connected by a straight line. So it shows a pattern. And the pattern you see is that every number is increased by 2. Do you see that? Increased by 2. So every time that times 2 makes increase by 2. Correct? So as an exercise what you can do now is you can find what will be the output for the 10th term. You could find that, right? You could answer the question why we have not connected these points with a straight solid line, right? And third, what type of pattern do you see? It looks like a linear pattern. It increases by 2 each time. I hope these questions help you to understand. Thank you and all the best.